Hello everybody and welcome to St. Paul's. This is the July edition of our video epistle. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad and I am joined along with Pastor Mark and Deacon Susan and we are here to give you an update of all the things that are going on in July here at St. Paul's. And the first thing I would like to talk to you about are two special appeals that we are going to begin for the summer. Now the first one is hearing God's word and what that project entails is getting a new sound system for our sanctuary because we know that now that we have video streaming so people can watch online and people are coming back into the church for worship we want to have the best sound system possible so everybody can hear God's words both here in the sanctuary and for those who watch on YouTube and our online platforms so we will give you more details over the next couple of weeks to let you know how and how much it will cost, but we also want to invite you to make a special appeal donation so that we can have this new sound system up and running by the fall. That is our goal. Now the second appeal that I would like to talk to you about is called the Solid Rock Foundation. Now our church, it's a beautiful sanctuary, it's a beautiful building, but it does take a lot of upkeep. And lately we have noticed that there are some cracks in the exterior of our church as well as a couple of other issues that have come up like with the gutters for example so what we are looking to do with the solid rock foundation appeal is to help cover the cost of some of these projects so that we can keep this church looking as beautiful as it is for the next 150 years so over the next couple of weeks we will show you ways that you can make a special donation to help cover the cost of such things such as new gutters for the sanctuary runoff drains and the exterior cracks on the wall so we'll keep you up to date on those two special projects i'm going to turn it over now to my tag team partner pastor mark who has an update and news to share with you thank you pastor jonathan we are now more than a year removed from the start of the pandemic and with god's love and guidance we have really made significant progress in a relatively short time now, one area of progress is related to producing these videos with the help of our media ministry team. Just last week, a short video was produced by our stewardship team, and it was released on our social media platforms. This excellent video explores where we started, what we learned, and how we have adapted to the circumstances over the past year. Most importantly, the video speaks to what we look forward to as we embrace our future. Please give it a view and a like or thumbs up, okay? Thankfully, also, we've been able to put in place many hopeful protocols, helpful protocols, but there are still some things that we must do. For example, keeping our children safe until the vaccine is available for them is paramount among them. That is why we've established a family area within the sanctuary here for worship. And it's also why it's important for everyone who is able to become fully vaccinated. The longer the virus is able to survive, migrate, and mutate among us, the more deadly it is likely to become. The latest Delta and Delta Plus strains of the virus are unfortunate examples of how the virus can strengthen as it mutates. And we're watching countries, especially Australia, now with uh, their outbreak of this of this. Uh, uh, variant, be, being very watchful about that. So if you have not had an opportunity to receive a vaccine, please consider getting it, not only for you, but for others. Going along with that, we are going to have a book study, actually kind of pertinent to this issue, a wonderful book study about our Christian response to the pandemic. It begins this month. It's a book that was suggested by Pastor Jonathan entitled God and the Pandemic, a Christian Reflection on the Coronavirus and its Aftermath by N.T. Wright. You can see the book is fairly short and it explores how we as Christians respond to the crisis and what we can learn about God and ourselves. I encourage you to pick up a copy or do like and read it or do like I did and just uh, hit one click on my Amazon account and download it to my Kindle. It's a wonderful little book. So. If you would like more information about the book study group, please contact Nancy Schuneman or Cindy Killian. Finally, we are in the middle of vacation season, which means 
If you are watching this video, you are probably not on vacation. So, what we want to say to you, however you can, please take some vacation, even if it's in quote time. Time to reconnect, to relax, to reflect, and to rejoice. This is important for everyone, for your family, for our church family, and for the glory of God. That's it for me. Now over to you, Deacon Susan. Thank you, Pastor Mark. So even though it is vacation time, we still have a lot going on in the children's and youth world with ministry this summer. Our Bible exploration Friday night evenings will happen on July 9th, 30th, August 6th, and August 20th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. If you haven't had a chance to sign up, please contact me so I can make sure there's enough supplies. I will be attending Lutheridge camp with our confirmation middle school students July 18th through the 24th. So if you would like your child to go to camp and you're a little bit unsure about sending them away this summer, I will be there as a familiar face so you can speak to me if you would like to register your child at Lutheridge or the Camp Agape still has options as well, which is located in Fuquay, Verena. This summer, our middle and high schoolers have the opportunity for a last minute servant trip to The Dwelling, which is a ministry for the homeless and unsheltered in Winston-Salem. We recognize that a lot of families already have plans at this point, but if your sixth through 12th grader would like to go, I would be willing to create the trip and figure it out with your family. That is July 25th through the 30th. This summer, we are also resuming our acolyte, communion assistant, and reader uh, responsibilities in worship. So if you would like to assist in worship leadership in one of those areas, you can contact Kathleen to get on the list. And finally, we are working on reopening our nursery for the fall. It will remain closed throughout the summer but we hope that we can reopen it when school starts so that your children who are younger will have a place to spend their worship uh, mornings while you are in here in the sanctuary. Thank you, Pastor Jonathan. Thank you, Deacon Susan. Thank you, Pastor Mark. And you may be wondering, why am I holding shorts? Well, the first answer probably is this Pastor Jonathan uh, needs a vacation as well. But what we have going on in July is a very special project with our friends at the Feast Gathering. It's called Shorts for Sports. And the Feast Gathering will be collecting men's and women's new and gently used shorts and t-shirts so that they can provide these clothing for our displaced brothers and sisters in the Wilmington area. And this is through their clothing closet, which provides clothing to our brothers and sisters in downtown Wilmington on Tuesdays uh, on, excuse me, on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you have some good quality shorts and you would like to make a donation to the Feast Gathering, you can drop them off at Kiever Hall, and we encourage you to do that so you can support our brothers and sisters who are in need of good and solid shorts during this hot weather season. Also want to continue to invite you to join us on Saturday, uh, Sunday mornings at 9 and 11 o'clock for in gathering here in the sanctuary for our worship services. And we also invite you to continue to watch us on uh, online at 11 a.m. with our live stream. And as you come, please continue to give your financial gifts to St. Paul's. You can do that through text, online, check, money, or also a drafting from your bank account. It is your financial gifts that help make a difference into the community. You are making a difference in the people that we are serving and we are bringing the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ to those all around. And that will do it for this month video epistle and we thank you very much for watching. And on behalf of the whole staff, we wanna say thank you for all your support and thank you for being a part of St. Paul's Lutheran Church where all means all. See you next month.